gonna be making some uh, pigs in the blanket on my Monument Grills 325. I've got these cool lights on here. Now check this out. When you heat it up, when you turn them on, they come on. Now I've got a pizza stone in there. This is my old or baking stone, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna bake them right on that. That's uh, from uh, Pizza Craft. I believe Monument has a quarterite pizza stone they sell for theirs, but this one fits right on top of the grates, works well. This double walled uh, lid on top and die cast aluminum, uh, thick die cast aluminum sides, really holds the heat in well. And I like using this grill for baking. I make pizzas on it a lot. And it's gonna do well with the um, pigs in the blanket. Now I didn't show you me wrapping the pigs in the blanket. Uh, I'll tell you why in just a moment. Now what I've got is half a stick of butter, some herbs and some garlic powder and cayenne pepper. And we're gonna uh, heat that up. It's in an unmarked Wagner. This old Wagner Ware, unmarked number five little skillet. Just gonna use it as my little sauce pot there. Get that melted. And um, I don't need to start that right now, but that butter's really cold. I'm just gonna start getting it going, okay? All right, um, this is up there around 450. So I've cut this back a little bit, but I wanna make sure that baking stone is hot. That's saying 260, 252. I want that a little hotter, so we're gonna let it continue to go just a bit. All right, my melted butter has melted. I'm just gonna leave it right there. It's that um, Wagner skillet. You wanna keep it hot. I'm just gonna set these on there. Now, I didn't show you me wrapping these uh, hot dog wieners up in, uh, in these uh, Pillsbury Crescent Rolls. I don't think you need to see that. What time a lady told me that I shouldn't say wiener, it sounds gross, all of a sudden hot dog. I said, do you know why they call them hot dogs? Have you ever seen a dog when he's ready to get on your leg? Yeah, dogs wieners are red. That's why they call them hot dogs. All right, you can see inside that glass that these are starting to brown up. Don't believe me, look at that, okay? What I'm gonna do, grab my Thermoworks pot holder like this MagnaWare thing. And now I'm gonna take the uh, Thermoworks brush. Look, if you're interested in the Thermoworks silicone products, I'll have a link down below. I'm gonna take this uh, garlic and herb butter and I'll base the top of each one of these just like that. These are gonna be so good. I love pigs in the blanket. Better than just plain hot dogs sometimes. I like to eat mine with Heinz 57. Um, I just dip them in there. Some people put cheese inside there, but it's hard to wrap if you put cheese inside there. I think if you want cheese on it, just get you a cheese sauce, like a nacho cheese dip or something, and just dip them in it, you know? Just eat them with your fingers. Anyway, these are all coated, and I'll probably coat them again. I'm just going to leave the saucepan right inside there and go just a few more minutes. All right, just a few more minutes. I'm thinking one more butter baste, and just a few minutes to let that set. Look at that butter burn on the... Once they get, these knobs are down to about a quarter turn off of low toward the high side. I heated it up on high and turned them down. So just, they're just about, you know, you go all the way down and come back maybe a 25%. That's where the knobs are. If you like these Thermoworks silicone products or this Pizza Craft uh, bacon stone, I don't know if they even still make it this Pizza Craft bacon stone, but I'll have one of them for you down there. And um, hey, check out Monument Grills. I'll have their link down below too. Uh, I'm not affiliated with them, but they did send me this grill for demonstration purposes on YouTube. And so I'm pleased to do it because it's a great grill. And I mean, it just bakes well. Look how brown those things are. Just another moment or two and we're pulling them. All right, let's get them off of here. We'll see what the other side looks like. Maybe I'll let them sit there too long. Oh, well, they're still going to be good. Actually, that one looks pretty good right there. I like them that brown. I don't like them black like that first one. Yeah, these in the back did better. Still gonna be very, very good. My daughter's made up a salad for us. Pigs in a blanket, Heinz 57 sauce. 
on the Monument Grill. Thank you for watching Big Lou Barbecue. You know, inside, outside of that dark light on my patio, those bottoms don't look too, too bad. They're worse than they need to be, but they're not as brown as, or black as they looked outside. They're just not. That one's the one that was really dark. So I'm gonna eat that one. That one's a little dark too, I'll eat that one. That one looks good, that one looks great, you know, so left them a little long, but hey, that's cooking. I bet you expect me to taste test these on camera. I don't have a fork. With bagged potato chips and my daughter's salad, Heinz 57 sauce is coming soon. I'm gonna put Tabasco with my Heinz 57, but this has jalapeno in it, so it's already hot. <laughs>